Hello everybody, it's time for our term two curriculum picks. We're actually starting term two next week. Originally I was planning to release this I think a few weeks ago, but I decided because stuff wasn't done, I wanted to be able to actually show you what we were using. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you our term two curriculum picks. But before I do that, I'm gonna post a little linky up here and in the description if you want to check out our um, our YouTube mini series that we just did on our between the terms action. And what we covered was sorting the finished work that we were using, putting them in the physical portfolios and getting those physical portfolios set up for the year, um, our digital portfolio and how we kind of arrange things on there, the term one wrap up slash the term two planning, which all leads us to this video, the term two picks. So let's get started. So if you saw our other video on our term one picks, you know that we started something really cool, which was our unschooling calendars. Now, I'm excited because, so last month we did space and we do space in January because, you know, they can actually see <laughs> the sky and the stars and stuff while they're still awake. Now for February, I thought it would be fun if we studied anatomy because obviously you've got Valentine's Day, which is the heart, and we can learn about the actual heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom through and show you the things that we're picking. I'm looking at my baby monitor and my baby's waking up. So I'm gonna see how quickly I can do this and don't forget to check out those other videos, but I'm just gonna quickly show you what we're using, why we're using it, what grades it's for, kind of what's all involved. And then I'll post everything in the description as well please don't forget to subscribe turn on that little notification bell so you never miss a video we try to put out a video every single week i'm going to try and do one of these videos every month um, that we are having school you know like our term picks and then um, please leave a comment if you have any questions or nice comments and don't forget to like and share as well thanks so much all right, he wanted to join the video with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this video around so that I can show you our board because I've gotten everything set up on there. It's really fun. I printed out our February calendar, our anatomy calendar, um, and then also in the curriculum in the unschooling anatomy calendar, I have a few how to draw um, lessons. And because it's February, you know, all lovey and stuff, I went ahead and put up the how to draw an anatomical heart just on the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around for you so that you can see that because this visual board is a huge part of our homeschool, just gigantic part of our homeschool. I've got to have everything out so that I can see it. So it's not out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> all right, so there's the board. As you can see, the calendars we've got, I still need to change the uh, date because obviously today is not the first, today's the third. Um, but we haven't been doing school this week, so we haven't really been keeping up on that. And then I've got the, you know, the anatomical heart here. We've got a little memory that we're still working on here, but I think I'm actually gonna be changing that. But that is our visual board, hugely important in our homeschool. But without any further ado, let's talk a little bit about the curriculum picks. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you that I shared last month as well is just the planner that I use. It's the same planner. Um, Last month was January, so I used blue, our blank blue planner. And since this month is February, and like I've mentioned, all about love and hearts and pinks, I'm going ahead and using the pink calendar. And so I actually, I actually did just get that set up, and you'll be able to see that in the YouTube mini series that I just did. And then I also wanted to talk about the portfolios, because again, these are in the YouTube mini series, but there is a portfolio download on my website. Um, I have the undated version. If you want me to make the dated version, I can, but I just figured, you know, buy it once and never have to buy it again sort of thing if it's undated. Um, and so last, you know, last month or for last month, I put a lot of their work in here that they did. For this month, I'm gonna have them do their little year work sample as well as the about me page that's in there because normally we do that at the beginning of January, but we didn't. <laughs> it got a little crazy around here after the holidays. So I didn't even get around to setting up their portfolios until just now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that probably today. Um, they're in quiet time right now and after quiet time, we're gonna go ahead and do that. But these are their portfolios. These, we didn't do as well on these last year because I just had a baby and it was a whole crazy time, but I'm hoping to be better about that this year. So there's the portfolios. All right, and then that calendar that's on the board is actually part of a set. So every day, um, what we do first is what we call calendar time and singing. So we're singing some songs that they're learning in church um, just to practice them at home. But then they also have a traceable calendar because we're working on 
being able to recognize, you know, what day it is. When I tell them what day it is, they can just go look on the counter and kind of see uh, what day it is. So every day they'll, you know, they'll trace what's on here. They can color it however it is they want to do it. So those are the calendars. Okay, so then a big goal that we have is to always be reading and usually we'll formulate our whole month around one book. Um, this month is actually Call of the Wild. And so we're doing the Ultimate Unit Study Sled Dogs. I'll link that in descri the description as well. I'll also link the preview video because this is really fun. Now this is not gonna last us the whole month because the Call of the Wild is an abnormally short book, but it's still really fun, still really good. My daughter said she wanted to read Prince Caspian because we read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe last month. So that's probably what we'll do. We've got a guide to go along that as well. We've got a guide to go along with that as well. So that is what we're going to be using for that. Um, and so I'll print that out later in the month if we end up needing it because sometimes you get in a little bit of a weird schedule where you don't do everything you're supposed to do during the day and you make it up later. And so I'm just going to let us have that option for the month. This little guy wants some whipped cream. <laughs> and that is for read alouds. Now for math, I don't have anything to show you quite yet because I'm actually working on updating all of it, but it's going to be unschooling math in the kitchen. I'm really, really, really excited. When that is finished, I will post a video about it and then I'll link it in the description. So by the time you're watching this, it might've already been posted and if so, you can just head right to the description and click on that and see what unschooling in the kitchen is all about. And then the last thing is gonna be that unschooling calendar I talked about at the beginning of the video, which like I said, this month is all about anatomy. There are 20 lessons involved and I say lessons lightly cause they're like, optional little lessons or um, <laughs> things you can encourage your kids with as obviously is the point of unschooling. <gasps> that goes over, that goes over the cardiovascular system, the uh, nervous system, the respiratory system, and the endocrine system. And I actually have a video to show you about that as well. So again, check the description for a whole preview through that. It's really, really cool. It's only $5 for the subscription or $7 if it's not for the subscription. You can check the description for the description of this video for a whole list of what we're using. Now my kids are <laughs> six and eight, turning seven and nine this year. And this little guy's turning two and he's just crazy. And so he's gonna be starting our little pre-pre-K curriculum, which is like the preschool curriculum, except a lot less. Um, and so you can check the description of this video to jump ahead at any point during this video or to go back at any point during this video if you wanted to hear about the math or any other subject. Feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and all that. And I thank you very much for watching this video. I'm gonna go ahead and put that, that other video at the end of this video, as well as a playlist I think you guys might be interested. I hope you're having a real good time. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.